way I look. Now? Now. <laughs> like a giant. Hey, guys! Hello. Nicole here. Coming at you with a fancy grocery haul. Guess who's behind the camera? It's the Tally Bear, the Staff Marker, my cute husband, Kyle! <laughs> How's that for an introduction? The best one you've ever done. Yeah, I know. The friends, this is a grocery haul in the apocalypse. <laughs> We're in some crazy times and we want to give you guys some tips on how to still shop when there's lunacy going on. Yes. So, as you guys probably know, most of the grocery stores have all of the staples pretty much cleared out right now. So we wanted to go to the grocery store, do our grocery shopping, and figure out how to still eat fairly clean, on a budget, with very limited food, and do the video for you guys. And we had, going in, we had no expectations because the shelves are empty. Yeah. But. We were really we're, surprised. We're pretty resourceful and hopefully we'll pass on some tips to you guys that you can use. So, the first place we went was a Walmart superstore and we came away with quite a bit of things. However, they're pretty much out of all the staples like meat, oatmeal, bread. Milk milk, yogurt, they're pretty much gone. Then we went to a more expensive store, Sobeys, and we learned if you go to the more expensive stores, they're still stocking stuff. They are out of bread, they are out of a lot of staples like meat and stuff. However, we were able to find some oatmeal there. And uh, so we'll show you. So the tip is if you're going to your cheaper grocery stores, they might not have a lot, but we learned going to ones that are a little more expensive for us in Canada, Sobeys, Zares, um, the Real Canadian Superstore, that kind of thing, they seem to have a little more options right now. And let's get into the groceries. And in these crazy times when like we're gonna cut back on extra stuff, yes. so it kind of cancels out the extra cost of going to a bit more of an expensive store. Yeah, like you're gonna pay a little more. We paid a little more for our oats for our mouthwash, things like that. However, if they have it, it's worth getting right now because people are clearing stuff out. And um, like Kyle said, we're getting more simpler with our diet because we don't have a choice. So that kind of makes up for it because what we didn't buy in extras, we spent a little more getting the staples. So let's get into it. Let's start with this stuff. So a lot, of, as you guys know, pretty much all the sanitizers and stuff are cleared out right now. We actually had a shower problem with a clog and we didn't want to really bring in a plumber if we don't need to. We don't really want to bring any outside people in right now if we don't have to. So we have been using plain old vinegar and baking soda. So we stocked up on a vinegar. There is still quite a bit of vinegar. So, you know, might not be as strong as sanitizers. We also, yeah, that's, we were looking, they're out of cleaning supplies, they're out of sanitizer. Well, you can use vinegar and baking soda. Yeah, and we also bought some peroxide. They only had the little containers, so we brought three of those. This is good for making your own mouthwash. We use it to sanitize stuff. Like, you me, can use this for a lot. Me and Nicole wear mouth guards to go to sleep, and we use mm. um, really hot water and a little bit of uh, hydrogen peroxide, and it sanitizes your mouth uh, guard. Yeah, so for for sanitizing stuff it is great they had some no sugar added ketchup on sale so we we got a couple for eggs Kyle likes to put that on his eggs they had some milk and some non-dairy milk and since they're out of the regular milk and we figured we may as well get these the thing with the non-dairy milk it is lower in calories sugar and carbs and it lasts long like it's in the middle of March right now and this is good till May 22nd so non-dairy milk is really good if we have to you know use it to fill up with this is great it will last long some of them don't even need to be refrigerated so that's great right now they're out of egg whites they're out of pretty much like all the dairy stuff but even in an apocalypse, no one eats cottage cheese. <laughs> People still don't want to eat cottage cheese. Well, we do. <laughs> so, 1% cottage cheese, it's good till the end of March. 
We stocked up on six of these. And a tip is, right now, we're not putting peanut butter in it like we were before. We're making it a few days in advance. So we're pureeing it in a blender with a little bit of the non-dairy milk, some cocoa powder, and some sweetener. We actually show you how to make it in our last video, so you can check that out. And we're freezing it. So make it last even, even longer. Even if it's done at Mar in the end of March, it's gonna last longer because we've got it in our freezer. We've made it ahead of time. So that might help you guys out. Also, if you can get your hands on egg whites, they can be frozen. They're a little chunky when they're thawed, but um, you know, that works. They're, it still works. So they're out of eggs, egg whites. So we stocked up, we've got three cartons of eggs. Eggs, we've always said from the very beginning, are a complete protein, complete food, basically. They've got some good fats, they've got some protein. So if you gotta eat eggs a few times a day because there's no meat, it's a good staple. To and stock Walmart up. was stocked with real whole eggs. That was one thing they had lots of. And the great thing about this, like, the date is April 27th. So you can get a lot of eggs. And like we've always preached to you guys, a whole egg is like the perfect superfood. It's got healthy fats, it's got protein, it's got a lot of vitamin D in it, other vitamins. It's, it's a great food in, in, in any time. And another thing that we're doing, um, I'll show you, we got some cream of wheat because they're, they were out of oats at the Walmart. We did actually find two bags of organic oats at Sobeys. So we got two of those and since they were out of oats at the Walmart, we got some cream of wheat. There were only three boxes of these left. What we're doing is we're taking a couple for ourselves, but we're leaving some on the shelf. We're not clearing the shelf out. We're making sure other people are getting food too, because there are children and stuff that are out there, elderly people that need food more than we do because they're more vulnerable. So we're not taking everything, guys. We're just getting enough for ourselves and we're sharing, you know, and, and we're finding, like, that's really important. We want to make sure everyone is getting stuff. So we're only taking a few of each thing. For those of you, like, pretty much all meat is cleared out, except for ham. Ham is an amazing protein. Everyone always forgets about ham. And look at, like, for one serving, it only has three grams of fat. It's got, like, barely any sugar or carbs. It has a little more sodium, yes. But at this point, if you're looking for protein, one of these feeds Kyle and I for like a whole week. And we, we measure it. We can't, we don't have a choice to be picky anymore. No, so we got four of these. There was still at least 20 of these left in the bin. So ham, don't be scared of ham, guys. Ham is a really good protein. There were actually some frozen veggies. There, there isn't a lot. So we stocked up on what we could get while still leaving some in the freezer. We got a couple bags of this San Francisco style veggies. It looks like it's got beans, carrots, cauliflower, corn. So it's got, you know, some good carbs and some good veggies in there because the beans and carrots have carbs. Um, we've got a bag of frozen broccoli. There was actually quite a bit of the frozen broccoli and veggies left. We were really shocked. There were some berries left, not a whole bunch, but we were able to get three bags and we've got two four berry blends, raspberries, strawberries, blueberries, and blackberries. And then there were actually quite a few of the blueberries left at Sobeys. So we got one bag and we did actually get a couple bags last grocery. So we're stocked up on the fruit. And the, the, it's funny that all the fresh fruit is still there, but we yeah. always buy frozen because it lasts so much longer. And it's, it's cheaper, like, because, you know, for $10, we have a bag of fruit that could last us a couple of months versus if you get a bag of strawberries fresh at the store or a box of strawberries, they don't last very long and they're more expensive. So there's not really any yogurt left, but... In the apocalypse, people still aren't eating plain, fat-free, lactose-free yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> so we were able to get four of these. There still actually was like four or five left of the yogurts. So if you're willing to not be picky and you want to get some Greek yogurt, there is still plain, fat-free, lactose-free. It was a little more expensive, but Kyle and I 
are looking for other sources of protein right now and Greek yogurt is a good source of protein, it was worth getting the four for a little more money. When chicken and ground beef are like the staples of your diet and no grocery store has them, you gotta be a little creative. Ham, eggs, Greek yogurt, cottage cheese, that's our protein right now. Um, and we showed you the cream of wheat and the oats. And here's the baking soda. So we were able to clean our, um, basically, it's still a little slow draining, but we were able to pretty much let it drain a lot faster with the baking soda, hot water, and vinegar. We had four, but one had a hole in it, so it's in a container. So we got four of these. That baking soda is so versatile. You can use it for anything. You can make your own toothpaste out of it. You can use it as a cleaner a sanitizer, whiten your teeth, like it does a lot of things. So that's why we got four. And Walmart was out, but Sobeys had a ton of these still. So just keep checking your stores because there are stuff out there. Some staples are still available. Now they're out of bread. Oh yeah, that's another thing that was pretty shocking. I, we heard a lot of people like being pretty shocked that yeah. there's no bread in the grocery stores. There's no bread, but there are I noticed at both stores, there's bagels, there's pitas, and there's buns, and there's also these. There were a ton of these. There were still tons of these left on the shelf. These are the protein up, carb down. There's like not a ton of carbs and quite a good amount of protein in these. So even though there's not a lot of meat available right now, you can still get your protein through other sources. It's not the greatest to get it through other sources, but it's protein. So we got four of these. Two are in the sea salt and crushed black pepper and two are plain whole grain. So there's five wraps per. These'll, these'll be great for a breakfast or a lunch whatever we can put our eggs and our or our ham in here this is a great source of carbs we still have some rice left over so we're going to go through the staples that we also still have those are the tips leave some on the shelf guys let's you know not be in scarcity let's share um, make sure everybody has some food right now because it is pretty limited out there check around Go at times you normally wouldn't go. This today is not usually our grocery day and we don't normally go at this time. So it was actually really good. It wasn't too busy at the stores and they were stocking at our Sobeys. So check out stores you normally wouldn't shop at. Check around, be creative, get a little less picky and you'll be able to find some good stuff. And again, if you get more simpler in your diet, like we are, you're gonna be able to spend a few extra bucks on some of the staples that are there, but might be a little more expensive. Um, so we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep meeting, trying to meet our goals with the foods we find, and we're gonna keep making content for you guys. So stay safe, guys. Oh, one thing. A thank you to whoever at the Walmart put two packs of these randomly down in the aisle. <laughs> We are using these, another tip, we're keeping these and hand sanitizer in our car. As soon as we get in the car, we've been wiping the door handles, the steering wheel. I've been wiping my purse down. Uh, we each take one, we each wipe our stuff, and that's you know how we're taking precautions right now. We're also trying to limit going out, we're working out at home, we're working from home, we're, we're doing what we can to stay safe, keep others safe, and just, you know, love everyone, cherish every moment, make the best out of the food we got. We love you guys. We're going to keep putting out content for you. Stay safe, share, love, be patient, calm, and stay safe. Wise word from the collects. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. We really appreciate your support, especially right now. You guys are the best. Love you. Have a great day. Ah. Let's oh <laughs> I like that stance. We're taking a stance. <laughs> See you guys. Bye guys. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.